Hello YouTube, now this is a serious type of how to play Minecraft. This is extremely passive. Now let's turn on some music. Let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the... Nope, nope, not gonna do that. Never gonna do that. No rock music. Rock music like... Ah! It's like screaming down your ear. It hurts. I hate it. And it is a very overpowered, overused music thing on face Facebook, on YouTube. Preparing for the battle ahead on how to play Minecraft, I have a full bottle of Mountain Dew right next to me. Yum. Okay, let's type a random number in the seed column. Oh yeah. Now this is the real deal. Minecraft. 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 Woo. Minecraft is like really cool because um Mm, I'm not really sure what the hell. Oh. Generation lag. Generation lag. I'm in a sandy area right now. Woo! Firstly, to, um, number one is basically main. You'll need to get some wood and survive your first night. So you will survive because at night loads of bad stuff will come zombies, crawlers, spiders spiders I gotta admit are kinda cute in a way ooh sheep coloured sheep you gave me one selfish sheep that's kinda scary if you think about it a black sheep with a white face yeah, not so stingy, are you? Okay, let's get some wood. Get about get around ten to fifteen blocks of wood. It doesn't even matter how many blocks you get. You just need enough, and enough is ten to fifteen blocks. So what I just said was a load of rubbish. Do not listen to me anymore. Okay. I'll be back when I've got my my wood. Bye. Okay, now I'm back with a total of 13 blocks of wood. Now we press E for our inventory. Place the wooden blocks in the crafting square. And keep clicking so you'll get a stack of planks. Planks are essential for making crafting tables, sticks and much more crafting tables okay um crafting tables will make you will help you make loads of things oh yeah i forgot to do that make some sticks don't want too many we still need to build some things okay i'll be right back when i found some coal i need to tell you one thing though Coal spawns in these types of areas where there's rock, mountains, hillsides and cliffs. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I've found my coal. I've got a large amount of coal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our crafting table because coal immediately generates where your first place is going to be. Where your shelter is going to be. I make one pickaxe and one shovel shovels used shovels are used to what's it um dig gravel i'll show you so mine this coal with your pickaxe if you mine it with your bare hands it will not loot um drop any coal and you will not be able to harvest it to make ho torches torches are pretty essential for survival in minecraft because you need light and at night time, zombies, creepers, spiders, whatever, will come and try and kill you. Like, literally, they'll come and, like, rape you. Oh, no. K 
Can you feel the scaredness? Can you feel scared? Do you feel haunted? Yep, that's right. So, as we're mining our coal, if you see this little bar down in the section down here, it is deplenishing. Well, dying. Sadly. The pickaxe is dying, so as it dies, it will just disintegrate. When the bar reaches red, it will disintegrate. Well, lower than red, I suppose. Not sure, really. Oh, really laggy. And I got a fast computer. That isn't fair. Okay. Now we have our sticks and our coal. We just place the coal above the sticks. Tanya! Torches. Click as many torches as you want. I try and make as many stacks as possible. Um, so you will not need to hunt for coal in the future. And you can do this with basically any material to make different types of tools. This is a stone pickaxe. And it will, like, stay around for longer rather than deplenishing quickly. And it is faster mining and also, like, faster digging up dirt. Which is pretty good. So, as we've mined our little dip into the wall, just keep mining into the wall. And then make a little, say, 4x4, four 3x3. Four, three three, um, little hideout bit. Place your torches inside of the hideout. And this is your hideout for the night. Place a little block here so spiders will not be able to get through. Spiders take a two... Oops. A two block to get in. So make sure you don't do that. Always have... If we just gather up our... What's it called? Crafting table. I'll be right back and I'll make it homey. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I'm back. And as you can see... I have put torches so it is well lit up. I have made a furnace, a storage chest, and a door. Now, what we need to do is just wait out the night in here. I got lucky. As you see here, I hit into a cave. And as I hit into the cave, I found some iron. So, and what I can do is... Place the iron in the furnace, and I'll show you how to make a furnace in a minute. Put some fuel under it, and it will give me something special. I'll show you in a moment. I'll I'll show you how to make. Oops. I'll sh I'll show you how to make a furnace. By how make to how to make furnaces is make a circle like this, and you'll have a furnace. Pretty simple, right? And it same applies to make a storage chest. Only you will need to do it with planks. Until part two, we'll be hunting for some meat. Because we'll probably get attacked in the night. Maybe if we need something. Until next time. Bye.